Hey everybody, Jeff here again from the Jeff Chambers Golf Academy at the Elmwood Golf Club. I'm here today to talk a little bit about practicing out on the range. Uh, we have a lot of people that like to practice. There's some people that you obviously use the range just as warm up for their golf games, that's fine. But for those that want to practice and that are really trying to figure out in their game um, what they're working on, there's a couple different ways to practice and there's two terms that are commonly used. There's block practice and there's random practice. And I just want to explain the difference. Most of you know, might know this, but there is definitely some that don't. I know I had to learn it at one time. So what it is, is block practice is when you basically are hitting the same shot over and over. So I'm going to grab my seven iron, I get up and I hit a shot, then I grab another one, hit another seven iron, and it's just over and over and over and over, trying to figure out how to hit that seven iron as good as possible. That is called a block practice. Now, when is a block practice good for you? Because there, trust me, there is times that they are. That is when you're trying to learn a new skill. So if you've gone to your golf professional, hopefully myself, and you're working on something, then that's when you're gonna be going, okay, this is when I'm gonna put my grip the way I was shown to help me hit it better. Or this is where I'm gonna work on my posture or setup or baby ball position, whatever it is, so that you can repeat it over and over as you're learning so that you can maintain that skill and work on that new skill to hit it. If you have not taken instruction and you're just going out trying to figure it out, uh, just hitting the same shot over and over and over again and expecting a different result, very, very tough. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it, it's going to make it very tough on you mentally, and you're not really learning a lot, even though you're putting out a lot of energy doing it. Uh, those that want to uh, and constantly, this is what this is for those people that talk about. Man, I go to the range and I am striping it, and I get to the first tee box or I get out to my hole at men's night or ladies' night. And it just goes everywhere. It's as if I've never hit the ball and all of a sudden I was straight on the range and now I got this push slice and then a, a duck hook and I just don't know what's going on. Well, the easiest way to help you with that, there's no perfect answer, but that's where random practice comes from on the range. So when you're on the range before you go out, if you hit, if I stand there and I hit 27 irons and then I, by the end of it, I better be really good at hitting a seven iron. And then by the end of it, I'm hitting drivers and I just tag the last three perfect. Well, yes, why can't I hit it so perfect? Because you got in a rhythm. That's not golf. Golf has nothing to do with rhythm once you're out there. You have to find that rhythm out of nowhere. Here, you get to swing and get into tempo. There's no penalties, no issues out there, no out of bounds, no trees, no bunkers, no water. It's very easy. Out there, you have pressure situations and you have to find that. So the easiest way to do that is when you're practicing, instead of hitting all of those seven irons and then the driver, change it up. Random practice. Have your bag close by you. This one I'm gonna hit a seven iron, so I'm gonna look down there at my target, and let's say it's a yellow pin down there, I'm gonna take a good look at that, get set up, go through my routine, hit that shot. Then I'm going to watch, get feedback for it, okay, maybe a little to the right, no problem. But now, instead of just hitting that over again, I'm going to put it away, and I'm going to get out my wedge. Going to pull up another ball from the basket. This time I'm going to change, well, oh, I'm going to go for the target over there. It's uh, maybe laser it out 50 yards, I said perfect. Okay, if you have a routine, go through it, everybody has a routine. Basically for me, I'm going to just take a little feel just to get the, the feel of it and then I'm going to get up there and get that shot. And then get feedback from that shot and know it. And then you're going to go grab the driver and you can see how this is going to go. I'm going to go through all different scenarios and then that way it's hard to get in a rhythm which is unfair on the golf course because you can't get it there either. You're driving in a cart, then you're hopping out and then hitting a shot, or hopefully walking. But what you're trying to figure out is how can I best prepare for the golf course? Well, random practice is the best way to mentally engage your mind about what to expect on the golf course. So if you're wanting to take your range game to the course, then make sure that you add in some random practice there and just get a feel for it. 
Um, and if you're out there just practicing and trying to get a feel for it, same thing. The more types of shots you hit, the more creative you can get, the more you're going to learn about your golf game and the better you're going to play. So stay tuned for more tips from the pro and until then, great golfing out there and enjoy it the best you can.